All right, so now we're going to look at quadratic surfaces, more specifically sphere. Uh, spheres are uh, special types of ellipses. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's focus on spheres. So the standard form of a sphere, it looks like this. And we call these quadratic surfaces because each variable has degree two. So x has degree two, y also degree two and z as well. So x naught, y naught, and z naught, that's your center of the sphere. And the radius of the sphere would be r. Once you're able to put your equation in this form, then it's easy to sketch and identify center and radius. So let's take a look at some examples and we'll do some rough sketch. So here's an equation of a sphere. You see every variable is squared. They're all positive equals to one. So in standard form, your center of this sphere, it's gonna be zero, zero, zero. Your x, o, y, o, and z, o are all zeros. And the radius of this sphere is going to be one. So if you were to draw this in the x, y plane, x, y, z plane, it's gonna look like this. So you have a sphere right at the center. So let's draw this. And then the center is at zero, zero, zero. So here's our, let's call this the x-axis. Let's call this the y-axis. And here is the z-axis coming upward. So this is our rough sketch of this particular picture. So we'll take a look at this one. Now, this is also in standard form. So this is kind of like your x, o, and y, o, it's zero because it's not there. You can write y minus zero squared. And this is the uh, z, o. So your center for this particular sphere, it's gonna be negative two, zero, and two. And the radius of the sphere, it's gonna be square root of eight, which you can simplify to two square root of two. Now let's do a rough sketch. So this is a shifted sphere. Uh, so it shifted um, two units in, in, in the x direction, negative two units, and then z direction, two units up, y direction, no shift. So I'm gonna try to do a rough sketch so you get an idea how this looks like. Here's our x, y, z plane. So here is x, here is y, here is z. So negative x is this way, and negative y is this way, and negative z is this way. So if I wanna go two units in the negative x direction, so perhaps right here, and then y direction so we don't travel. So from here, I'm gonna pull up two units. So, so somewhere right here. So that would be the center. And now let's draw the sphere of radius. So it's a huge sphere. So something like this. And then we just, um, so I'm gonna erase it for simplicity. So we have a better view of how this looks like. So something like that, that's the center. So that is the sphere we're looking at, which is shifted two units in the left, uh, two units negative direction of X and then Y direction it didn't travel, but Z direction we went up two units. For this one, it's not specifically in the standard form. So we want to express it in x minus x o squared plus y minus y o squared plus z minus z o squared equals some r squared. So to write this in standard form, first thing you want to do is move this term to the left. So you have x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 4z equals to zero. Now, these are fine because they, their uh, x, o, y, o are going to be zero. So this is fine. But for z, you need to put it in this form. So we're going to complete the square. So complete the square for these guys. So you have rewrite these x squared plus y squared. So when you complete the square, you have, you the, the idea is to take half of your linear factor, which is negative four, and then you square it. So that will give you a negative two squared, which is four. So four is the extra number we're gonna to add to both sides to have that perfect squared. So this is z squared 
minus 4z, and I'm going to add 4, which means I also need to add 4 to the right-hand side. So now this will factor into a perfect squared. So you'll have x squared plus y squared from before, and this is z minus um, negative 4 over 2. That would be 2 all squared, because that's how this factor into. This is equal to 4. So there you have it. This is in standard form. And now we can identify what is the center of this sphere. So that would be 0 for the x-coordinate, 0 for the y-coordinate, and 2 for the z-coordinate. And the radius is going to be square root of 4, positive square root of 4. So that would be 2. So this is a sphere that's been shifted upward in the z-direction, 2 units. So here's how the picture would look like. So suppose this is the sphere, and let's make it 3D. And it's shifted upward, so um, here's your uh, x-axis. So let's say this is your x-axis, and here's the y-axis. And then since it's shifted upward, so I'm going to just help myself a little like this. show the z-axis right here. So um, just something like that. So along the z-axis, it went up two units. So just to give you a better perspective. So this is the point zero, zero, 002. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how all of these are roughly sketched and how you can also shift around your sphere along any axis you like. All right, so here's another example. We're going to complete the square to put this in standard form. So I will group the x terms together, y terms, there's no other y terms, and the z terms together. So here's how it's going to look like. So you'll have x squared plus 4x, and I'm going to leave a space because we're going to complete the square, y squared plus, there's no linear factor for y, so this uh, center of the y coordinate is 0. For z squared, we'll rewrite the z terms. So this is how it's going to look like. Leave a space equals to 0. So let's complete the square for the x variable. So we take half of this number right here, and we square it. So that would be 2 squared, which is 4. So we add 4 here, and we add 4 here. Similarly, for the z variable, we're also going to complete the square, and then we'll factor them. So for the z variable, I'm going to um, take half of this and then square it. So that will be, again, 4 squared. So that will be 2 squared. That will be 4. So we add 4 here as well. And now for the x variable, this will factor it into x plus 2 quantity squared. And then for the y variable, there's just y squared. For the z variable, these will factor into z minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 8. So there you have it. This is in standard form. Now we can see that this is a sphere centered at negative 2, comma 0, comma 2. And the radius of the sphere is square root of 8, which is 4, uh, 2 root 2. So we'll simplify to just 2 root 2. So I did draw this picture earlier, but we saw where it was already given to us in this form, but now we see how if you can be given in this form, you can complete the square, express it in standard form. All right, so I hope this helped you understand sphere a little bit better. See you next time.